Welcome to a short video about STS4 Remote DevTools client feature. I have a toy project in my workspace. This project has DevTools on it. I have deployed this toy project to the Cloud Foundry and the app is up and running. Uh, now let's try and attach Remote DevTools client to it. I do it by right clicking on, on, on the CF app in the boot dashboard and clicking on this Restart Remote DevTools client menu item and that's it. Right, so behind the scenes, it's uh, remote secrets are set up for your remote app and local and communication for, for the, uh, you know, with the remote DevTools client and the remote app has is being set up behind the scenes so you need to worry about any of it. So the, we, we can tell that remote DevTools client has been attached to the app already by looking at this DT at the bottom of the icon. It's been it was fast because it's not the first time I attached a remote DevTools client to this app. If you attach it for the first time, it's going to take a while because a partial redeployment is going to be done because new environment variables are added. Um, so remote DevTools client has been attached and we can try change things in our application locally and see if remote app picks it up. So we have this request mapping endpoint high. So if we look at it, it says the message hi, right? So we can change that message to hello and see if a remote DevTools client makes the changes possible. Yeah, and we can tell from the log class pass has been updated and reload has, has been done, right? So if we look at the page, it says hello now. We can try and add a new request mapping. Let's say it's going to be request mapping by now. So buy for the mapping, buy for the methods, and buy for the message. Let's save it and let's see if uh, remote DevTools client will propagate the change. Yeah. So you see this green marker has appeared around uh, the annotation. That means the request mapping is live now, right? And this is the live request mapping URL. Right? So it just says buy, right? You can also change stuff in the application properties because it's also on the class path. So we have a banner mode console, right? So we see spring banner here somewhere, yeah, right here. If we change it to off. We won't see this banner when the app restarts. Right, so the file watcher does restart, right? And we didn't see the banner when it was restarted. If we put the banner back, the console, save it. We'll see it now. So yeah, reload it now. Yeah, you saw the banner right there. It's great. Okay, so we can to detach remote to DevTools client. You find it in the console and you press this terminate button, and that kills the remote DevTools client app. And DT is gone. That means it's disconnected. So that's it. That's the remote DevTools client feature in STS4. Thank you for watching.